Hey guys, again, when we do these big jobs, we like efficiency. And so we don't just like to change, you know, the menu names and the browser titles and the meta descriptions. I had somebody ask, what about all the contents themselves on the pages and on the uh, front page, the theme options section? Uh, let me show you. So I put all those, um, <laughs> those uh, plastic card websites into a list right here where I can manipulate them, okay? There's like 61. And I can choose from page content or theme option settings, which is TOS. And that's the front page. It's all the stuff that's not the page part. That's all of this stuff here. Everything that is not, whoops, the normal page. The normal page is this part right here, okay? That goes all the way down to here. And then back to theme option settings, so TOS. So if I want to change this phone number, do I do it in the page contents or in the theme option settings? And the answer is theme option settings, right? When I go to the top of the page, <coughs> if I want to change those phone numbers, that's theme option settings. But if I come in here and want to change something, that's page, right? All of this stuff here is page, okay? I can put images in here. We just haven't done it. But we made this tool really really good so I'm just gonna show you real quick so you get the point kept a couple of quick runs so I got 61 websites in here and let's say I want to make a change in the toss okay theme option so I'm gonna do something like um let's change the uh, phone token to a static phone number okay I mean I'm being glaringly daring to do this with a client website right I mean, wow, I'm taking his token for his phone number and changing it completely to a completely useless phone number all through all of the websites, front pages, right, wherever the toss is, like here, uh, all the way down the page on all of his pages, everything that's in the TOS, right? And how long do you think that would take to make that kind of an update across, say, 61 pages times, what, four pages each? Oh, we're done. We're done. <laughs> well, it's not uh, the other pages is tossed, so it's only 61 pages. Um, so anyway, there you go. Phone number changed. Totally, if I go back to the top bar, phone number changed, phone number changed. If I come down, uh, wherever the next phone number would be in the toss section, there it is right there. It changed, right? Now, it's not just the one page, and that's my whole point is like all the way down wherever it is that I'm looking, right? Anywhere that I'm looking, wherever the phone number is. I'm not even sure where the phone number is on many of these things. It'll be around somewhere. But I, th I think you get it, right? So if I refresh, see it? There it is, right like that, okay? And a, um, yeah, I mean, that's the reality check. What can we change then? That's the whole point because I'm going to change it back, right? <laughs> like I don't mean to leave it that way for the guy. So ready? Control X, let me put it back over here, Control V, and put that back on the other side, Control X, Control V, whap. Okay, so what can we change? We can change anything to anything. It could be two spaces to a single space. It can be one word to a whole phrase. It can be a whole phrase to one word, right? Uh, it can be the, the you know, um, token for the company name can be changed to a company name, just a static company name. And we can make those changes in the tosser and the pages. So anywhere where it may have said eco-friendly physically in the pages and I wanted to change it to the word modern, I can do it right here, right now. And it would move so fast. As a matter of fact, I can do it. I don't even have to be afraid, right? Because I don't want eco-friendly anywhere, so I'm just going to make it modern. Okay, and then um, let me do it lowercase, eco-friendly, right, modern. And yes, I can do thousands of these changes right now. If I put together some really, really big list, All right, I'm just doing it without the uh, dashes right now, okay? And so check that out. Talk about gutsy, it's all done. 200 some odd pages are now fixed, right? Oh, that's why. I had that set in the toss. Sorry. I was, uh, no, I didn't. Page content. Okay. Well, it'll be hard to find <laughs> because uh, I don't know where I had eco-friendly on any of those pages. But control F. If I see the word modern, right? Nah. All right. So anyway, though, that's the thing. 
what it did was go through every single one of these pages that we have on the website. Modern. Modern. Wait. Where is the other one? It's showing two, but at the top. I don't know why. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. Anyway, that's the point, is that all of this happens like that. We literally control whatever's going on. Uh, if I wanted to change this, I'm parallel. Okay, I'll just show you, all right? I'll do it like really, really generically. Okay, here we go. All right, now I'm going to put this and do it again. But this time, I'm going to put dashes in between the words, okay? All right, I could do more lines of stuff, right? Page content, not the toss. Otherwise, it'd just go back and forth. But I wanted to make sure to get them both. Okay, we're looking at this and we're looking for dashes to appear. Ready? Refresh. Yep, there it is. <laughs> just wherever it existed across all those pages, anywhere where I knew I wanted that change to happen, all the websites that are affected or possibly affected, Control X, right? Control V and that pipe and drop it from the end. Okay, back we go. Okay, and absolutely everything gets controlled at this kind of level. Everything we do. All right, so I just wanted to show you it works that way. Uh, we even build tools for fixing broken tokens just in case. Uh, we got tools for everything. All right, yeah, just to show you how efficient this entire process has become, right? This is why we think that as far as growing with us and going for big multi-site projects, whether you're doing it for partners, downline, crossline, franchisees, new subsidiaries, joint ventures, you know, MLM downlines with different websites, and we want to control standard things for everyone, all of a sudden across all their totally different websites. That's the point. They're all totally different websites. These websites are nothing alike. They're completely different websites, okay? And that's the point, is that we're <laughs> going through these websites and we can still control items all through the websites. Okay, there's a tremendous amount of power in this. And the best thing is, if we're using expired domains, pre-owned, expired or auctioned, the domains out of the sandbox, they already have their own backlinks to them. They're already out of the sandbox. Then when we build them all together and we can still interlink through them, we can create so much power, it isn't even funny. I don't know anyone else who has this kind of ability to produce and manipulate live remote control everything that we produce on behalf of everyone so no one has any problems. Okay, I think you find it interesting and give me a call. You want to discuss your project? Give me a call so we can talk about what you've got going on and what your vision is for growing it or if you need some consultancy because we'll do that on the phone. We'll talk about where you can go so that you can see where you can go. All right? Cool. Looking forward to hearing from you.